Hi, I am Giuliano De Luca. In this video, I'll show you how to automate a deployment process of an SPFX solution. Move forward immediately with the demo. Here, here I have a modern page with my hello web part that it's uh, ready, ready to go. I will refresh it. And now I'll, I'll change uh, the title and the description. So in order to do this, I have to open the, uh, my the component. Welcome to SPFX deploy. And here I'll write a new description. Uh, the process okay I'll save it and I'll I'll run the the group tasks in order to to upload uh, my my web part group bundle In this way, the, the bundle of my web part uh, will be uh, ready to be uploaded on the Office 365 CDN. Finish it. In this case, I can run the Gulp package solution. All done. Okay. Now, what what I have to do? In my solution, I have three new files that are uh, available on my uh, GitHub. You can find a new repository. And uh, we have two PowerShell uh, file. The the first one will uh, upload the the bundle on Office 365 CDN. And the second one um, will upload the SPPKJ on the app catalog, and uh, uh, it will de deploy it across the XML uh, file that you can uh, you can find uh, always on my on my GitHub. So now I want to de deploy the SPFX to Office. And uh, in this case, uh, this script will upload the, the bundle on Office uh, 365 CDN. Now I can run the second script, script deploy SPFX to up catalog. This will, will take uh, some seconds. And it's it's absolutely important. Uh, obviously, configure also the the CDN uh, base path because the PowerShell script will uh, will read uh, this uh, this information. So now the everything is done. It means that if I go on my page and I refresh this this page, yeah. Got it. We have the the change that we that I made uh, before. Um, I decided to develop this uh, this script because uh, uh, currently is not uh, available uh, uh, the ALM API. But I know, uh, as I know, Microsoft is, is working to to provide us. Uh, also this uh, this new capability and but i think that uh, this this solution is a uh, could be helpful and can save uh, uh, your time and uh, can speed up also the the productivity of a of a team okay now move forward uh, on the code we have the this is the it's really simple 
this first uh, script as you can see I used uh, in uh, my PowerShell script the PMP uh, PowerShell so this is a, a requirement in order to to use this uh, this solution I decided to use PowerShell and the PMP PowerShell because uh, um, you can uh, easily extend uh, this script uh, for example if you want to provision uh, SharePoint uh, artifacts or uh, if you want to uh, um, install uh, immediately your uh, SPFX on a modern page you can uh, achieve this goal across the, the partners patterns and practice uh, PowerShell. Let's take a look on the on the second script. This is uh, more complex. Uh, you have to specify here the catalog site, the catalog relative path, and uh, after that the the script run read the the name of the SPPKJ and upload the and uh, upload uh, the the letter on uh, on the catalog on the up, on the app catalog mm. normally you need to deploy the SPPKJ manually but i automated also this uh, this last uh, step and uh, in order to do that uh, uh, we need uh, um, some some inf information uh, uh, about uh, the the site ID, web ID, list ID, and the item ID. So we have uh, several uh, web uh, web requests here. And uh, as last step, uh, uh, this script will read uh, the XML file. This is a template uh, file and uh, this is absolutely important because we need to put this xml file in the body of the our uh, web request and after that the the spfx solution will be uh, deployed i hope that this solution uh, could be uh, really helpful uh, for you you can find uh, uh, all the, the all information all the information uh, uh, on my blog post and also on my github feel free to contribute as uh, as you prefer see you to the next video bye